What is going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. Short edition, five minutes or less. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how sometimes you end up apologizing to a narcissist for what they do to you. Stay tuned, like and subscribe. absolutely true right here because a lot of times when you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people you will end up apologizing for something that they have done to you the easiest example of this will be like let's say you catch them cheating but you went through their phone to catch them that's an invasion of their privacy so you say sorry for going through your phone sorry for invading your privacy and things like that and that's the end of the conversation one of the biggest mistakes i feel like people make when you're dealing with narcissistic people talk to people whatever is letting them talk too much when you let them talk too much they're going to say something that makes sense to you or they'll keep you up at all times of night like not letting you go to sleep and try to exhaust you into giving up and apologizing to them my advice to you right now is to not give yourself what I call an emotional black eye. Don't beat yourself over, over it right now. Just know what you went through. Use it for future reference and don't let it happen again. Because if you give yourself an emotional black eye, you won't be able to see forward. You won't, you won't be able to see the red flags are right in front of you. So stay strong and I hope this helps. So welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So yes, if you can read the text on the screen, it says, I actually ended up saying sorry. I'm so ashamed of myself for being manipulated like that. Y'all. It happens. Trust me. Do not give yourself an emotional black eye from beating yourself up from saying sorry to a narcissistic person. You didn't know. You didn't know what you know now. You know now. So we're not. So from this point forward, we're not apologizing for things that someone else does to us because you can only look what you allow is what will continue. So a narcissist feels like like if you catch them cheating or something like that by going through their phone. You invaded my privacy, so we're both in the wrong right there. Do you see how they diminish? Narcissist people will diminish what they have done to you by getting you to agree to share some or all or most of the blame. That's what they do. They'll just literally put it onto you to say, hey, look, you need to apologize for what you did to me. You, I'm, I'm, look, I'll apologize if you apologize. So both, sometimes... Both of y'all will end up apologizing for something that they have done to you. So you're accepting responsibility for the part you played in them cheating on you or them putting their hands on you or them being emotionally abusive and yelling at you. You know, I yell at you because you, you say you try to hold me accountable. I hate accountability. You know that. So you need to apologize for trying to hold me accountable. I'm sorry for trying to hold you accountable. Boom. Got you. Stop apologizing for things that other people do to you because that will keep you in this toxic cycle for a very, very long time and have you blaming yourself for what's going on in your relationship. But yet, what you allow is what will continue. So when you stay in the relationship, the narcissist thinks that you're okay with the behavior point blank period in the story. So I hope this video helps bring you some clarity. Hope it brings you some peace. Stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.